Spirit is testing my patience yet again. My video shut off because my phone overheated again. And it's not even hot today. It's been raining most of the day and it's actually pretty cool. So it's irritating extra because of the simple fact that it's not hot. So why is my phone overheating? It's ridiculous. Anyway, <clears throat> back to what I was saying about what you've got going on here. You may have even in the past been somebody who might have um, put a little too much stock into the looks of situations or people. And you're learning from that as well. But I feel like for the majority of you that you are somebody who hasn't done that. And you are asking other people why they're doing that. You know what? I had a conversation with an older guy the other day that has been sniffing around me for the last year. And I keep telling him I'm not interested in him. And it has nothing to do with his age. It has to do with that I'm not interested in him. I don't find him interesting. I don't think that we have anything in common. I don't feel a connection with him in any fucking way. And the only reason he even likes me is because I'm 30 years younger than him. And I asked him, why is it that all of the old men around here seem to go for all those young women like me instead of going for, instead of going for people their own age? Because you know what? It's not about the looks. It's not about the beauty. It's not about the youth. This guy can't even have sex. And he's suicidal right now because his whole world's so dark and miserable and gray and he has nobody. You have nobody because all you're doing is wanting to go after young, hot women instead of actually going after somebody that means something to you. Or like the other guy I talked to about how he's sitting there at his 280 pounds or so saying that he doesn't like heavy women. Well, I know what I like, so I shouldn't be accepting things I don't like. Well, here's the thing, buddy. Until you lose the weight you got, why should you be expecting somebody else to want to be with you either then? I mean, come on. What is wrong with these people? It's okay for you to be fat, but it's not okay for somebody you're interested in to be fat. And guess what? If you marry a hot, skinny young woman right now, because this guy's about 62 and still trying to hit on me and trying to convince me that I should be having a relationship with him because he's the good one, even though he proved with every action he took that he wasn't. Here's the thing. If you marry her now, 20 years from now, she might be heavy. Are you still going to be there for her? If not, you don't deserve her. She shouldn't have to be thin all of her life and she shouldn't have to be young all of her life to please you. And if that's the case, then you need to go do something else instead of ruining all these people's lives by making them feel like they're not good enough because their looks aren't good enough. There is far more in this world than a person's looks. And that's what you're teaching people. Yeah, you are running into people who are learning karmic karmic lessons from you because you are somebody you're very non-judgmental and open-minded and grant I am too you know and I really hold no grudges against these people but really it's ridiculous when I think about how many people I've had to have that conversation with lately you're you've been working really hard to break the chains of the past to defend yourself to stand up for what's right to defend others to stand up for what's right with others you are um really calling in a lot of justice to yourself for your patience for your time for your effort that you've put in you've planted a lot of seeds you've nurtured them you've nourished them you have um really put a lot of effort into growing what you're growing and into canceling out the past karmic cycles that you have gone through and to standing your ground and setting your boundaries in a healthy way and to telling other people that you expect more from them than just seeing your beauty or that you expect more from them than just being a beautiful person. You expect them to be a beautiful person inside, not just outside. And you expect them to see your inner beauty, not just your outer beauty, because that doesn't mean anything anyway. Fucking 30 years from now, it's going to be gone. And then what? What do you have left? You have what was inside you. Which means, are you this bitter old person who's upset because all your youth is gone? Or are you this beautiful, amazing person who's happy with life still because you have something left besides just your beauty? Fair-minded, non-judgmental, open to change, lives in the moment. Like I was saying, you're very non-judgmental. You're a very happy, positive, joyful person. But at the same time, you do not put up with people that are just looking to score with you because you're 
hot. That is the worst compliment anybody could ever give to you. Oh, you're hot. Oh, I know what you want. Go away. Did you even look at the things I'm interested in? If you read some of my poetry on my channel, you would know that I'm not interested in skin deep. You want to say something about me that's a compliment? Say something about something that really means something. Not just my looks. Loving, sweet, loyal, caring. And I probably look so good because I love myself the way I do. Anyway, and same goes for you. You're somebody loyal, loving, sweet, caring, beautiful. You are just this beautiful person and you're calling in what you deserve because you are batting away all the losers. Curveball by Honey C. Just doing my thing like, uh. You don't even got to say anything. You're just doing your thing, minding your business, and everybody's all on you, thinking they can touch you without even asking. You know how many people I've had put their hand on my ass without asking after I've already told them I'm not interested in them? Or just out of nowhere, some stranger grabbing my ass. Did I give you permission to touch me? What is wrong with you? Just because I look good doesn't mean you get to reach out and grab my body. What is wrong with you? And those are the things that you've been doing. You have been telling people just how you feel about the way that they're behaving. Shaming them, in a sense. But this, you know what? Some people need those things to be able to broaden their perspective and open their tiny little minds to something new. And you're calling in people who have a more open mind. You're calling in people that are going to give you what you deserve instead of just giving you this crap plate. <laughs> Anyway, I'm sorry that I, I got really, really, really passionate in this reading. I feel like you're very, very passionate. I feel like you are definitely one of those people that will just tell somebody to step. Get the fuck out of here. What is wrong with you? Yeah. I, <laughs> I feel like you are like the mom that is actually the mom instead of the mom that is trying to bend over backwards for everybody and lay down on the ground so they can all stomp on her. No, you're the mom that's going to be like, what is wrong with you? Why would you behave this way? Think about the way you're behaving. Think about the way that makes me feel. Think about the way that makes other people feel. Think about yourself and whether or not you can live up to what you're trying to get other people to live up to or do for you. Are you doing those things for other people? No, then too bad for you. You don't deserve that either. You're somebody who really believes in justice being served. You're somebody who really believes in fairness and balance and equality, equality for everyone and giving anyone a chance, but at the same time, cutting that chance off if they are um, not giving you the same chance or if they are uh, only looking for surface shallow BS. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear what you have to say about it in the comments below, and I hope you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys. Pile three. So for you guys, let's see what you are currently manifesting with the energy that you are putting out. I feel like for the majority of this pile, you guys are manifesting some loyalty. You guys are manifesting some commitment. You guys are manifesting some sort of um, love. And at the same time, <clears throat> see, I can't love you. I don't love myself. You are working on self-love. Because in the past, you might have been very loyal to people who did not love you in the right way because they couldn't love themselves. And so you realized that you needed to work on yourself so you could love you, so you could attract people that are loving themselves too. We also have Be Happy, Be Brave, Be Drug Free, Red Ribbon Week, October 23rd to the 31st. So <clears throat> there could be something coming for you in October. I am doing this in September. The last week of October could be very, very important for you. I feel like you went away from situations to be able to love yourself so that you could teach others how to love themselves as well. You're leading by example. You're doing what's best for you. You are being brave. You are being happy without anything to, without pharmaceuticals, without street drugs, without alcohol. You are being happy without having to use other things to numb you or to um, 
yeah that's that's pretty much what it is golden gate x stiff <laughs> um yeah you could be um you could be manifesting an ex in the past that could not love themselves. They were very stiff in their actions. They were very stiff in their behaviors. They were constantly focused on um, having to be a perfect version of themselves, possibly because of the nasty version that their family members were in and the dark sides of that. And they knew that they had those in themselves. So they weren't loving themselves because they weren't loving those people. They weren't... Uh, they were judging those people and in essence they were judging themselves because our parents are us we are our parents and when we are hating our parents we are hating ourselves because those parts of them are in us even if we're not choosing to live in the dark side of our parents those parts are in us and to accept those parts to love those parts and to integrate those parts into your being does a lot of good because when we are hating those parts of them and we are striving with everything in us not to be those parts of them, usually we are being exactly what we don't want to be being simply because we are so worried about being that. So anyway, you could be attracting or manifesting in someone that's very loyal to you, someone that's very committed to you, but somebody that could not show you the proper appropriate love in the past because they could not love themselves. And I feel like you were not loving yourself either, but you were the one who took the lead and you headed out on your own to love yourself, to show this person how it's done. And I feel like it may be coming back together for you as well. And it could be vice versa, too. They could have taken the lead. G, L, glass. Um, there could be somebody that uses meth here as well. Glass, ass, lass, lassie. <laughs> Ask, class, gloss, glossy, glossary. Z, L, N, W. Make sure my phone is not overheating again. Z, E, T, E, T. Z, U. You may be sleeping a lot more. You may be, really, you've been working on self-care a lot more. And you are caring for yourself. Loving yourself, respecting yourself, um, being loyal and committed to yourself. And so you're going to be calling in a lot of energies that are that as well. G, I, Z, or if you haven't been doing that, start doing it. U, F, Fluffy, <laughs> C, D. You guys could have a lot of pets. <laughs> um, or you could be calling in a new pet. You could be getting a new dog. You could be manifesting a new dog. And uh, could have a lot of dogs. There could e this person could even have a lot of dogs as well. Last, best for last. The best is saved for last. Um, waste. You may you might have felt like you wasted your time in the past, but I don't feel like you wasted your time. You learned a lot. You gained a lot. You. Uh, Learned what you don't want. You learned what you do want. Elder. Nasty. Glasses. Yeah, so in the past you might have been looking through rose-colored glasses as well. Golden Retrievers are definitely the dog that is the example of looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. Because you know what? I say it about dogs a lot cats are different cats you have to respect them you have to love them or they won't you period dogs on the other hand they will love you no matter what you do to them you can abuse them every second of every day and they will still love you and golden retrievers god bless their souls they are the most like that they are so loving regardless of what people are doing to them they don't love themselves <laughs> it's <laughs> if that's a human version think about a human version of a golden retriever there for every kind of abuse that can be thrown at them without loving themselves and walking away from that. Always there to bring up the people that are bringing them down, that are hurting them, that are shoving them into the ground. Snow. 
So there could be something happening when the snow starts falling as well. Fun. Funeral. Code. Geode. Views. Use. User. Yeah, there really could be, there could be somebody in your past that was a drug user. I'm teaching all those who have tried to throw me under the bus in the past. They hurt me and bruised me, but I have refused to let them break me. I have rose up time and time again, and I have taken the high road. They all keep coming back. Some have learned their lesson, others haven't. But I will do it all again because that is love. Some will be barred from my life and loved from a distance. Others will be given a chance for redemption. Someone has to make that choice and I choose to. Intuition guides my actions, the love from my heart and logic as well. I'm in balance and my world around me follows suit. So you are manifesting in an energy of loving yourself now. In the past, you bent over backwards and gave everything you had to everyone around you. And now you are um, walking away from the things that no longer serve you. You are moving away from those things. Snake, skate, sight, night. Snakes in the grass by Waka Waka. Waka Waka Flame. I don't know. Waka something. Waka Waka something. <laughs> Ozone. Um, <clears throat> yeah, you are really deciding that you don't, that you need to love yourself. And you are showing other people how to love themselves. Loser, lose, win, won was classy you're taking the high road you are not holding a grudge you're forgiving the people who have hurt you in the past you are learning from those situations and you are walking away from things that you need to walk away from and you are walking towards things that you that are good for you you are creating an alternate reality and you are also teaching everyone who has hurt you in the past you are really showing them a new way of living and a new way of being by example you're leading by example net cd fox buffalo you are an amazing life partner somebody who is um, going to make somebody a great life partner. You are somebody that, and you're calling in an amazing life partner. Somebody who's stable, strong, grounded, down to earth. Somebody who's going to be loyal and committed. Somebody who's very intelligent and wise. Somebody who knows how to deal with these situations as well, like you do. Somebody who's also a leader. You are a spiritual leader. You're a passionate leader. You're an inspiration leader. You are somebody who is fiery, passionate. You know what you want and you go after it and you turn away from anything that you don't want. You are somebody who has no problem telling others what you think about things and acting on your passions or acting on what you feel strongly about. You have worked very hard to love yourself and to find your peace within yourself on your own emotionally. You are content without having to use drugs. You are content without having to use alcohol. You are peaceful. You are feeling good in your life and you have worked hard for this. And um, you may even have a lot of messages coming your way because other people would like you to show them how to integrate their shadows, how to um, bring their light side and their shadow side into agreement with each other so they can follow their own intuition towards their own happiness as well. There could be a lot of truths coming to you from people in the past who really hurt you while they were drunk or while they were um, drugged up or while they were busy busy uh, putting their addictions above you. I feel like you've learned a lot from the addicts in your life. I feel like you grew up with addicts. I feel like you have really dedicated a lot of a portion of your life to helping people find their way out of that dark hole, that rabbit hole. And you have found your own way out of that rabbit hole too. You are perfectly content in and of yourself on your own. And you have worked hard for this piece. And other people see how you have worked hard for this piece. How much abundance is flowing into your life. How much fertility is flowing into your life. How much the actions that you have made, the honest actions you have made, the truths that you have brought out, the messages you have given have made an impact in the world around you. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of people coming in to pay you for your services here soon simply because they are watching you from the outside going, oh my God, how did you do this? The ones that were closer, they got to actually learn from watching you firsthand. And I feel like they're really changing their life because of this swastika. 
Um, there may even be some, yeah. Dignified, noble, distinct, powerful, clever, resourceful, has connections. You are calling in a lot of connections. You're manifesting a lot of connections. You're manifesting a lot of different things because of your smarts, your intelligence. You are very resourceful. You're very dignified, noble, distinct, powerful. And I feel like if you are calling in a life partner, that's who they're going to be as well. Sincerity, devotion, self-control, stability, and patience. So you are... Um, you are very controlled in yourself. You're very stable. You're very patient. You're very devoted to things that are important to you, things that you're passionate about, things that you um, feel are worth hard work, and you work hard towards those things. You are very sincere in the way that you handle people, in the way that you talk to people, in the way that you interact, and you are calling in that sincere, devoted, loving, stable, patient energy to yourself as well. You are calling in people that are going to be there for you in your time of need, people that are going to have the connections to help you out like you do for them. You're calling in people that are um, looked upon highly and favored highly. And you are calling in that favor and that recognition for yourself as well. So that's what I have for this pile. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear how you felt about it in the comments below. Whether or not it resonated with you or what you might be going through, what you might have went through with these people. And I really hope that you guys have a beautiful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.